Oh, 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 I'm not gonna lie, I'm sick, I'm very sick, I cannot feel my throat, and I know it probably didn't look like it the way I just hit stick my chair like I was primary Lewis, Bruh. but I had to let it be known that I'm not to be messed with, sick or not, I will put my paws on you, wow. call me Michael Jordan the way I beat you with this flu, what, you, are trash. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Vince and today we are back with another reaction. Today we're back to visiting the sketchiest trailer park in Arizona. Now I only know two things about Arizona. Number one, it's hot. And number two, it's hot turn. Oh! Add trailer park on top of that, something's about to explode. That's a deadly combination, bro. Can't put nothing past the trailer park cookout. You go in there, then you finna get some good food, like some chicken or something, and you put some season salt, cause hey, I'm not saying they don't put no seasoning, but you put some season salt on your chicken. They say, what are you doing? That's gunpowder. Huh? I already ate four pieces of chicken with this with this season. What do you mean it's not season salt? This is gunpowder. Now my stomach and liver is exploding, bro. What's going on? But we can leave it to Tommy G to investigate some crazy stuff like this, so let's get into it. Keep in mind that I'm actually sick. I wasn't joking in the beginning. So if you see some abrupt cuts, I'm probably coughing up a lung or something. Just keep that in mind. We go to a lot of sketchy places. Today, we take you to the east side of Phoenix in a trailer park, and you meet these foos. That's right. That's right. Is that a white dude? Yes. I mean a black dude. Not a white dude. It was a random black dude in that situation. No, he had a place. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who, who just showed up? My boy just showed up. But... <laughs> yeah. This is one pill. One pill, like, uh, we'll charge like a couple bucks. Two dollars? Yeah, like two dollars. No. In America, there are these little communities that are often overlooked. Trailer parks. You see videos all over the internet of famous hoods like South Central LA or famous projects like Oblock. But can you name a famous trailer park? They're uh. sort of an undiscovered world. If I had to stereotype what I think of when trailer park pops into my head, I confess that I probably picture someone making moonshine or squirrel stew. But is that the truth? <laughs> Today, soup? since we're going to the first trailer park in channel history, I thought we'd start off with a bang and visit the sketchiest trailer park in Phoenix, Arizona. So get ready, folks. It's time to hit the streets. Or should I say park? Not everything from this episode is able to be put on YouTube, so click the Patreon if you'd like to see more. Viewer discretion is advised. Uh-oh. Y'all heard him. Viewer discretion advised. Okay, tell the people where we are and what this place is known for. Right now we are on 48th Street, right now 48th Street McDowell, dog, right here with my dog. I ain't seen him, I just got out of prison and shit, dog. Oh, you're the guy. Right off the back, this guy does drugs. I know a drug head when I see one. He's at least popped a few pills in his life. Can't put nothing past him. Tommy, watch your left. Watch your left. He on your left. Watch I just out. got out. Yeah, I just got out. So are you celebrating a little bit today? Well, shit, honestly, rest in peace my mom, dog. She just died a couple days ago, too. A couple days before uh, Thanksgiving, dog. And I just got out, do you know what I mean? Celebrate to her too, dog. Celebrate to life, dog. You know what I mean? How long did you go away for? Shit, I just did three and a half. I ain't too much, you know what I mean? So what is it like being out? Shit, being out is lovely, dog. You know what I mean? Right here, picking up the homies, kicking my primos with some, with some ladies, you know what I mean? We out here on the block. Same old shit every day, dog. Was there anything that changed since? Because you went out, you went in before COVID, right? Yeah, no, nah, that shit was fucked up. Yeah. That shit was fucked up in there. I was in that bitch 19, 20 months here with no plea. Just could do the COVID. You want to wow. walk us around a little better? Introduce well, no, we us got, to the we got, we got my primos right here, dog. JP. I like your style, dude. What's your name? I'm JP. Nice to JP? meet you. Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. You look like you could do a lot of different professions. What What do you do? I do anything from music to, to boxing and shit. From anything, man. I'm, I'm a entrepreneur. I be doing everything. You just okay. make money. Yeah. I like the style, too. You got unique fashion going on. Yeah, for sure, man. You know what I mean? You got to keep it fresh for the ladies. You already know. Mm -hmm. That's not it. He got on suspenders. When people Bruh. picture Phoenix, I was picturing hiking, mountain biking. I don't really picture trenches. Oh. Shit, they don't know Phoenix then. You know yeah. what I mean? We be in the trenches all day. Tell me about the block a little bit. What do I know? How long have you been here for? Well, I've been locked up for about 17 and a half years. I got here in 2000. 2000? Yeah, mm -hmm. got locked up. <laughs> 2002. Got out 2014. That's a long time. Yeah. What'd you go away for? I'm what? not gonna keep pausing it, but y'all know me. I like to point out the weird stuff that be going on. First of all, this man is 70 years old, 75. Why he got his hoodie tied up like he's 19? Oh! And he tried to pull the chain out the little middle part. 
to say, hey, I still got that ice on, that little chain. I snatched that chain right off his neck. Don't tell him I said that, but I'm just telling y'all what I do. Leave him, look at the lady in the background looking at him. What the hell are you doing? This is like he could be my great granddad. I really need to murder. It seems like, because we've been to Philly, we've been to San Francisco, we've seen it, it hits all over the place right now. I guess, what, what impact have you seen it have in Phoenix? In Phoenix, fuck, all you gotta do is drive down the street, you see everybody on the side of the road, on the streets, pan, panhandling, people just looking like they're homeless. They're homeless, they are. They need help. You know, people need rehab and detox. I don't know if we hit on this briefly, but I want to ask again. Speak to cost of living. How it's gone up lately? Cost of living, man, wasn't up, man. I'm paying like almost 3K where I live, man. Damn. That shit's expensive, man. I remember paying like maybe 1500 for a two bedroom, but it was like really not really big, you know? Yeah. But for a little thousand bucks more, man, I got a bigger spot. Yeah, you say money, bro, is living in these trailer parks, fool. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's the only way you're gonna make money if you don't got money. Can, can you guys take yeah, us on a little trip through it? It's all family, though. We all, so we all it, take care of each other here. What does it cost to, to rent around here? Right here? So, so, I own my trailer. He I owns this trailer. Yeah. yeah. I bought that shit years ago, but we only paid about five, six hundred dollars <laughs> rent. You know what I mean? But shit, I bought that bitch. So if you if you buy your trailer outright, five or six hundred a month mortgage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So like you just you just rent the lot. You know what I mean? But there's one guy on this whole thing. Yeah. 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 He on this one. He on the next one. Are people he, here responsible for their own maintenance? Like if their toilet yeah, goes out. Yeah. 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 Goes so out? Hey, you're buying a house pretty much. You're buying a house. It's just a small house. You know what I mean? So what is it's almost magical. For? They look small land? to the outside, but you oh, walk yeah, in, it's bro. pretty damn yeah, big. We can go. We can yeah. go in mine right now. Yeah. A little bit mine in the first one. So yeah. we go up there and shit. Some people, their only experience with a trailer park. Is watching trailer park boys about that TV show <laughs> in Canada. What can you tell them? Like, what's a true stereotype? What's bullshit? What's real? I mean, it's all low key. It's, it, we all the same shit. Them motherfuckers trying to get money. You know what I mean? It's all the same shit. Would you say it's a close knit community? Yeah, I, oh, this is all family around here. Because I feel like a big thing that's missing right now is community. People don't even know their own neighbors right now. Do you feel like uh, this place has a nice sense of community to it? Oh, no, this, this shit is a great community. You know what I mean? Everybody knows everybody. I mean, it's a good sense of community around here. It's all family and shit. Do you guys feel represented in this country? Do you guys feel like the government has your best interest at heart? Nah, fuck that. The government ain't got nobody's bad. You know, fuck the government. But at the same time, you call a community, you know, we gonna handle this shit. Like, we got everybody around here. This bitch, we got here someone by Jack, someone by the Circle K. Like everybody's fucking connected here. So you feel like rely on yourself because you can't rely on the government. Yeah. No, you know to be mean? honest, at the end of the day, nah. Were your friends at school? Does anybody feel like that? Does anybody feel like they can rely on the government? Like, what are you relying on the government for? They don't do nothing but take stuff from you. Am I tripping? Taxes? Uh, they give you tickets with the police and stuff. Don't don't that that money go to? I don't know where that money go actually. Who get the tickets? The ticket money? No, it can't be the police officers. You gotta go to the government, right? I don't know. I feel like what does the government do for you besides make laws? I don't know. Scared to come to your house when you would invite them over? They were scared, but nah. they knew that if they came, some shit was gonna go down all the time. You know you so if someone's first time coming over, they were a little bit sketched up, but then they got used to it and were happy. Yeah, and... they met us, they were like, alright, these people are cool, let's fuck with them, you know, and let's become friends. And then after that, it was just a wrap, you know? Hola, como esta? Bien, bien. Me llamo Tomas. Salvador. Ooh, me gusta tu bigote. Es muy fuerte. Pienso que es importante para un hombre tener un bigote fuerte. ¿Cuántos años aquí? He really speaks Spanish. sobre el parque. Está calmado, está bien. Y este no me da la también. Es tu bodyguard. Rent es muy alta ahora. ¿Qué piensas sobre esto? Está difícil, no creo que está muy fácil la vida. Tenemos que trabajar duro para poder salir adelante. ¿Qué haces para un trabajo? ¿Qué haces para un trabajo? Tienes uh, palabras que quieres decir a la cámara. Que le vaya bien y muy bien, que todo salga bien. Lo que ando diciendo. <laughs> that is the voice of a man right there. <laughs> he does not have they, them in his bio. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? You can tell. He has drywall. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Dude, that guy fucks. You can tell. He's like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, we keep it right here though, we keep oh, it close. Gotcha. How is the dating pool around here? Is it easy to find? They got a kid a good out date? here. It's, a good hard. Night? It's, yeah. hard. it's hard. It's hard. Tell it's us about it, please. Hard. I want to hear. Who Many like to flex. Many like to flex, yeah. but they don't have it, you know? Yeah, and Thank the ones, you. The yes. ones that have it don't even yeah. brag about it. Yeah. Yeah. What? It's hard to get a decent amount, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? What percent of them are flexing and what percent of them really got majority it? Majority are flexing, majority don't got it like that. Yeah. It's more the female that are independent like us. Yeah. We got it, we work. So it feels like the Got it? I bet you she collect that child support check every month. Wow. Talking about she got it. She might have it. I'm not saying she don't have it. Don't get it twisted. I'm just saying. 
Don't say independent. You getting two hundred dollars a month from child support. The flexors are winning though. Like when it comes Mom, to. Mom, winning. Uh, Mom, no. no. Who mm. gets the girl? The flexor usually gets the girl. It's the girl going. The guy that's going nowadays. to the, hold on. Yeah. The guy that's going to the nine to five. He has his uniform. Uh, All the girls are like, oh no, he's not I've cool. Been, and then the cool. flexor, they're that's like, cool. Ooh. A man that works is. Don't beat him in Boston, man. I had a question for the single men around here. All right. All right. How is the dating pool? I just heard the ladies talk. How do you think the dating pool is around here? To be honest, right here, it's kind of it sucks a little bit because you know. So a lot of women out here that you know, like you got the Latina women, I like Latina men, some black women like black men, but it's all kind of different out here, you know. So you might go for a black woman, but she doesn't want to, she likes a Latino man, you know. But a lot of these women are out here to play you, especially on this block, 48th Street, you know. Yeah, but uh -huh. you just got to watch out for yourself. There are a lot of gold diggers, though. You lot, see, I mean, a lot yes. of gold diggers, bro. Like, what, what percent Latino is this area? What percent black? What percent white? Mainly like Latino that. right here. Okay. Yeah. You know, I tried to go for Latino women around here, you know, they weren't really me too. Me. Yeah. yeah, you know. They baddies, yeah, they, bro. Yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're bad, but they don't, you know, so I have to try my luck elsewhere, you know, okay, especially yeah. around here, you know, you're going to see traditional Latino women go for tra traditional Latino men. Yeah. Have you ever considered learning how to salsa dance? Man, I salsa right uh, now. Oh, oh, ladies, you, ladies, you, know, <laughs> you guys, this gentleman's DMs are out to be flooded by Come some T.L.E. Yes, yes, <laughs> the fellas in the park wanted to show me how drugs had creeped into the neighborhood, so they took me to a gas station where behind in a field, a bunch of homeless people and fentanyl addicts were gathering, smoking, and sleeping. Here's what we found. Uh, one of my childhood friends right here. My sister's friend. Really? Yeah, the other day I was right here at 7 Eleven getting some milk and shit. And I seen her like standing over there at the bus stop with her fucking ass out like this. And she was not for real, man. She, she be doing that shit, man. I had to call her dad. Her dad came with a little big ass commotion over here. It just it kind of broke my heart, you know, knowing that I knew that little girl since she was little, you know. I mean, you can't blame nobody but her. I don't, I don't know what circumstance she was. I don't know what type of trauma she been through. I guess you got to take that into account too, but she put that needle in her arm and, and pressed, oh, mm, you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody else did that. I don't know if she was forced on drugs or what. I'm just speaking, like, in general. Like, in most of these cases where people be homeless, they be on drugs on, off their own choice. Like, they, like, you got addicted off your own, like, you know what I'm saying? And they ain't going to be like, help me, but help me, like. Well, you didn't want the help when you was doing the drugs and you had a house and wait and sold your house to do drugs. You didn't want the help then, but you want the help now. I don't know. That's just a, another point of view. Hey, look at this. Homeless, but you got money for drugs. I see you got a little child here. Of course. In the background here are a dozen, couple dozen homeless folks. Yeah. What's it like raising a kid in this area? Look, let me just be straight up. At first, it wasn't like this. You know, it took a while to get to this point where we are right now. I mean, I do get concerned on my child, how he grows and where he grows at. Other than that, I wish I had so much money to help people that I can, you know, and I would take that. I think that you have a good heart, but would money help these people? No. If you gave them no. each a no. 20 grand. If I could be straight up, no. So I guess we're walking into a reunion right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. We're like, walking into on the block. This is still 400 block, you know what I mean? It's still on the block. Hey, one of my homies is here yeah. from back in the day, bro. Yeah? yeah a he reunion? Could, he could tell you a good story, man. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys know each other from back in the day. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's my boy right yeah, here, you know what I mean? dude right here, It's man. my boy. Yeah, man. How long you guys been in this area for? I've been here for about two months. Okay. Two oh, months? Yeah. Pretty chill. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Negative. No. Yeah. Do your folks know you're out here? Oh uh, yeah. Negative. Yeah, but I don't talk to them anymore. So tell, can you tell people about the impact that Fatty Wap has had on this area, Phoenix? It's gotten bad. Like most of my friends died off the fucking Fatty powder and yeah. People say on the news like it's as easy as one hit can change your life. Is it like that? Let's say a couple hits can change your life. Not just one. Because I know Arizona, a lot of stuff comes over the border and, and hits here. And is it hard to know what you're getting from the deal? Because everything is mixed up and stomped down with different shit. Yeah. Don't what do drugs. Like? Uh, I've heard homies say, like, that they were getting clear and they were getting. Next thing you know is Fetty powder. One person I knew fell out over that shit. Like, literally hit it. Just because he ain't never done Fetty powder before. Is he doing it right now? If that's Fetty Powder or whatever you want to call it, you dirty. You dirty, bro. Because he just said, I told you, I've said this before. He just watched his friend take the powder and pass out talking about, ugh. And he said, oh, I want to go there too. No. No, that's not it, bro. Well, please, like, 
I, I don't even know why do drugs exist, bro. Like medical reasons, but like, I guess. But like, come on, bro. Why are you doing drugs if you don't got no medical problems or nothing? You don't got no pain. You don't got no sleep omnia or whatever it's called. I don't know. Dangerous, huh? Tell him. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's dangerous, dog. That's why I'm telling him back up a little bit. That shit get dangerous, man. Huh? You just took a couple of hits. How do you feel now? What's different? I don't know. Do you feel pretty similar to how you did just two minutes ago? Sure. It seems like the common denominator with almost everyone is that something happened early in their life that is painful that they're kind of running from. Would you say that's a common story around here? Oh, uh, almost definitely. Is there any part of your story that you can't let that get to you? Yeah, I've been homeless since eight. Oh, and how old are you now? Thirty-eight. Wow, so you've really been just surviving out here. Pretty much, yes. What caused you to go homeless the first time? My brother died when he was um eleven years old, and I couldn't sleep in the same room. And the house was broken. And How'd your brother pass? I just went to sleep one night and never woke up. And ah, uh, that no, that'll life, do it. it. Yes. Most definitely. How is it being homeless as a 15 or 16 year old? Were people looking for you? Were you just, you just kind of just checked out of life? How did that go? I started learning how to live on the street at the age of 10 years old. Do you see any way out of this hole that you've dug? Eventually. So do you sleep out here? Yes. And do you have a tent or what's your setup? I don't sleep out here in the park, guys. I sleep in the rack and my head, really. Anywhere I feel safe. Do you have a preferred spot or does it switch every night? It switches. It never used to be uh, homeless people robbing homeless people and people doing people dirty. Well, I appreciate you sharing your story. Is there anything, any final thoughts you'd like to share? No, not really. I appreciate you. And your name is? Chris. Tommy. Nice to meet you, man. You too. I wish you the best. No, God! Oh, don't shake his hand. Man, that's, that story's sad, though, bro. Because I'm looking at him, I'm like... I don't know why I got flashbacks, but, like, I could, like, see the 10-year-old him when he was telling that story. Like, 8-year-old him. Like, I got a little siblings, 8, 10, you know what I'm saying? I can't imagine them. They can't even make their own food talking about on the streets. Oh, that's, that's a crazy life. But, like, I feel like, I, and I could be ignorant just saying this, but I feel like can't nothing in this world turn me to drugs. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, like, you know how bottom of the bottom, like, I would have to be? And even still, I'd be like, no, bro, what is that going to do for me? You know what I'm saying? It's gonna make me what it's gonna get me out of here faster, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I, I can't I can't see, but I guess that's that's one instance I could see like somebody like at least they got a reason. It's not like you you in this big house, oh, and you got all types of stuff, you everything you want the rest of your life, and and you doing drugs. Like I don't understand them stories, but sometimes I can kind of sympathize with them and throw them a little empathy, you know. But I mean, still I don't think you should turn to drugs. So, no, I've been traveling around seeing a lot of different things in America and it's hard not to feel like things are starting to tip and hit that point of no return. Like the economy? There's a weird feeling in the air right now. Yeah, no, no, so ever since COVID, bro, it's just been going downhill with the government. I feel like we've lost our pride too. Like we've lost, not not just for our country, but for ourselves. Like, yeah. we just don't give a no more. Yeah. That's the problem nowadays. That's exactly it though, is people don't, like, people don't care anymore. Like, 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 how do we get people to give a shit again? We only have one short little life. Shit. You know, how do you get people to care? You gotta, yeah, you gotta bring them together. Community services. Yeah. I think even the little things like trash, like you have to yeah. be Jeff Bezos to throw away your trash. You yeah, know, yeah, everyone yeah. can do that. So the people back home, oh, you have power with your choices and you can make your city a better place or a worse place. So get out there and fucking let's get after it. You know what I mean? Become one. Unite. That's how it works. Unite. Shall we hit the wagon wheel? Let's hit it. Realistic. Let's hit it. People are not normal. Like, they don't have the, the brains to, to just, or the, they don't have the personality to do something like that. They're just ignorant. Y'all knew what the fuck happened in this trailer. You used to live here? I used to visit people here. I mean, you know, some people here. And basically, uh, some shit went down. Shots were fired. Uh, we're all in there and your boy almost fucking passed out passed away but you know we here and yeah you know what i mean shit just happened here that wasn't supposed to happen so this is the spot where everybody fucking grew up everybody knows each other so what are your aspirations you seem like a motivated guy yeah definitely motivated you know coming from a place like this coming from a place that was full of danger and full of people just wanting to do fucking shit that wasn't right so now we're at a story where we can motivate people and tell them our story and let them know how everything we did wasn't right, but it was just happening in the moment. 
now we're just trying to inspire people to get away from this life and to do better in life, you know what I mean? What's a dream job for you? A dream job would be uh, what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to be a motivational speaker for people and I'm trying to That's just make job. sure that the community knows that even though you went through bullshit, you can still get out of it no matter the situation or the mentality. We're walking towards a, a group of tents. Is that a new development or has this been a common place for a while for this, that kind of stuff? Pretty, honestly, nowadays it's common. Since I've been out, it's common everywhere now in Arizona. This shit is bad. So, this is just in walking distance in this community. There's a few hot spots already that we've stumbled on. And this is all due to the blue, the blue devil. Fat. Hey there, how you doing? Oh my God. It's a good camp you got. How long you been in this spot for? Uh, we've been here like, I'm going on like two months now. This spot seems a lot more quiet and secluded. Yeah. So, you're kind of an outdoor survivalist. Like, what are your top like three, four things? Like, this is where I need to survive. These are the most important things in my kit. Uh, water, food, blankets, uh, just save other people. How do you go about, what's your strategy for food? Just like cold, like bologna, bread, easy open can. And most of our food we get from like the churches and stuff. Is there a lot of places to go? Or is there limited options? Like how hard is it to get food? It, it's it's hard to get around, like especially if you don't have no money. How have blues changed the game? When I got on it, I fractured my my wrist, and I thought maybe I was gonna stop right after I got it fixed, and then and I'm still stuck on it. And how long has that been? No doctor prescribed that. <laughs> oh, call me dumb, call me stupid. I just refuse to believe any doctor prescribed that to her, and she got hooked on it. Well, no, they do prescribe that, don't they? I don't know. For a broken wrist? Let me, let me Google it. Okay, it says fentanyl is a synthetic opioid approved for treating severe pain, typically advanced cancer pain. So, a fractured wrist. If her thing wasn't split in two, y'all think the doctor would still prescribe her fentanyl? And I feel like, aren't they like, aren't the doctors like, um, trained to not give you so much to where you won't get hooked? Like, is that possible? I feel like if you're in medical care, not saying, I, like, I really don't know, but I feel like if you're under medical supervision, and they prescribe you this drug, if you do it right, you won't get hooked. You know what I'm saying? Or, like, they wouldn't prescribe it if you could, if you were gonna get hooked. You know what I'm saying? I could be wrong, though. Um, I just recently got on it. Before that was methamphetamine. So what oh, she did drugs about before, the blues, anyway. what's the game changer about the blues? It numbs a lot of, like, my depression and stuff that I go through. How much does a daily habit go for? Or how many pills does it take to make it through a day? I just started, so I'm going on, like, maybe, like, at least four to five pills a day but there's other people that go like from like 20 pills a day to 50 to 100 pills, yeah 100 pills a day so their tolerance just is built up so i'm looking for your take on this people that are on the more democratic side would say the solution to all this is more government programs more government resources the republican side of the, the they don't know. political party would say uh, personal responsibility personal accountability is the answer to all this what do you guys think it's about caring about each other yeah. you know what i'm saying if you see a person is down and you say, oh, well, you need to do this, you need to do that. No, I'll be living your life. You know what I mean? You're trying to tell me what I need to do. So personal so accountability. Let me be. Just as long as I'm not trying to hurt me or you or no one else. You know what I'm saying? So maybe that person can't work. You know what I'm saying? I've been working since I was 17. You know what I'm saying? I got an accident. Accident. You got a car accident? Yeah. Throat was cut. You know what I'm saying? Lost memory. Gained depression. You know what I'm saying? What's your take on the Democrat versus Republican for this issue? I think it's all just yourself, like get yourself to do things. I think everybody's got their own part in being responsible for themselves. Like it's either you want to be out here to be out here, or like sometimes you have to be out here just you know to make it. But I think it's everybody's own responsibility. I agree with that. What they want to decide on. Is there they made the decisions. Do you like to say to family that might be watching this, or friends, or people back home? Don't take life for granted. I guess this is to your parents and then, like. Try to stay away from the drugs because this is your life. This is your future that you're looking at when you get on drugs. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you guys. Stay warm, stay safe, and have a good night, okay? You too. Uh, there's a lot of outcomes this life can have. Right. And you can go from homeless to millionaire to homeless. Fast. Like, Fast. That's, that's the, the crazy part about life, man. It's like, an adventure, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's sad, but I mean, it's reality. Some lingo. I hear the word foo a lot around here. <laughs> That's just homie, you know what I mean? What up, foo? <laughs> Is there any other lingo I should know? 
Pio. Pio, you want to be a badass motherfucker to be a Pio? Pio. <laughs> like that guy with the bigote was a Pio. Yeah, that was a Pio. <laughs> All right, let's do like an MTV Cribs tour. So like, look, this is my motherfucking crib. You feel me? You got the flowers and shit. <laughs> Bitches love flowers, so you gotta keep the flowers up. You feel me? You know Bitches I mean? do like flowers. I'm sorry to say the first part, but I was informed earlier that bitches like flowers. <laughs> Is that true? Someone just told me about two oh, minutes yeah, ago. Yeah, so <laughs> we're not bitches. No, not, I'm not exactly. saying you. I'm just saying in general. Oh, we're no, we're females. <laughs> females like flowers. Is that true? Who said bitches? Um, I don't know. I'm not gonna tell oh, them. Okay. <laughs> MTV Cribs, MTV Cribs. Right, so look, you got the you got the little kitchen, you know what I mean? Little table and shit. You know what I mean? Everything you need. Kitchen what did this run you? How much does it cost to buy this thing? I only paid four bands for the trailer, you know what I mean? Four thousand? Yeah, four thousand for the trailer. That's it. And free and clear. Free and clear. I no, got the title of my name. No monthly everything. payments. No, I pay I pay lot rent though. Just to have your place on this lot is how much? I only pay about six hundred a that month. That sounds expensive because you but only it, own the trailer. But but you but you paying water. You know what I mean? You paying electric. You feel me? So if someone doesn't own their trailer, how much does it cost? It depends. It, like I like I can rent this out. Like honestly, I got a back room and I rent it out to someone back there too. You know what I mean? Like you just seen it, it's bad out here. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers willing to pay six hundred dollars for one little ass room. So kitchen, living room. So this is a living room. You know I mean, this is my mom's right here. Rest in peace. You know, like I just told you, she just died a couple days ago. You know what I mean, rest in peace, mom's right here. These things, like they go a lot longer than you realize. I mean, she. Yeah, it looks pretty big. Like that one and that one, though. You feel yeah. me? Oh, is this a second bedroom? Yeah, so this is what I was just telling you about. So I'll rent this out for about six hundred dollars a month too. You know what I mean? We just be chilling out here, dog. Here, y'all need to check it out and be a young boy and got this. We got it. What? Real goat shit. Right goat. I know this is on the spot. If anyone has a verse, they can go yeah, for it. Hey, hey, you should have left it alone. Back in the day, it was okay to play, but now it's back in the zone. I'm too deep in the key technique, make me feel free in the code. I'm unique while the pen bleeds, I can see how many will fold. Hey, hey, you don't need for control. No thoughts are far from the O. Fuck what you thought I was on. Let's play chess, you're playing the pawn. You go left, I go right, that's a flank in my ring with some blankets, some comms. You rappers are making me yawn. The appearance of Cyrus when I'm on a song. I'm like Rick with a stick and a sick when you think that nothing is wrong. I'm legit, no assist with the pit and the kit and the fit till it's done. Ooh, you got some chop. You are trash. How you mess up on his own song? Like, yeah. No, nah, hey, that ain't none of my business. Happy wordplay, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's something like, something like. Next something to like. that, goat. I would say you're the goat of this area. <laughs> as far as parks and Phoenix go, where does this rank as far as sketchiness? Uh, it's pretty fucking sketchy out here, dog. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's good, bad, and ugly out here. If it, someone it, were to call this the sketchiest trailer park in Phoenix, what would you think about that? It's pretty yeah, accurate. It's, 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 we got an inside look to 48 block. We got to talk to a goat. We got to talk to local <laughs> residents. I really enjoy my time here. Does anyone have any final thoughts, anything they'd like to tell the people? Just appreciate Tommy coming out to the hood, you know, and showing love and shit out here every day, you know what I mean? Just keep pushing this shit, dog. Thank you for joining us, folks. We'll see you next week. Peace. How did Tommy find these people, bro? Like, was he just driving to Arizona and said, oh, what? let me go over here? Like, what happened? I'm not gonna lie. I thank God. I wasn't born in no trailer park. Bruh. Cause I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it, bro. Like, I'm not gonna lie. It, 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 I mean, it didn't look that bad, but it didn't look like something I would wanna do. You know what I'm saying? Like, it looked like some, you know what I'm saying? That's not for me. I'm not really country boy. You know, I, I, I ain't into like, I, won't, I don't wanna walk outside and see a goat. I wanna walk outside and see cars and squirrels. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm good. That's just me though. But it seemed like a lot of the quote unquote sketchy places, the, the hood places, a lot of places like that, the main culprit be drugs. Like, it'd be a lot of drug abuse behind that. You know what I'm saying? Like, why, like, why? Like, a lot, well, some may say the government is sending drugs to the hoods to keep them down in the hood. Some may say that, I've heard that theory before. But when are we gonna be like, no, I'm not taking that drug. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, I know it's hard. I'm making it sound easy because I've never been on drugs, but at some point, you gotta wake up and be like, I'm sleeping on a street where people pee and boo-boo outside. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I don't want no parts in that, bro. Like, I don't want to catch people infections. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? At some point, you gotta wake up and be like, I don't want to do this no more. But that's just how I feel. Like, maybe I'm just being ignorant to the situation. I don't know some of y'all probably got family that's on drugs. You know, everybody do. You know what I'm saying? But 
it's just maybe that's why I look at it like that because I'm like I don't want to ever go through that you know what I mean like I've been scared in real time you know what I'm saying like I don't know I don't know if that makes sense but hey I said it so that was it in this video y'all let me know what y'all think about it and what's the craziest part to y'all and y'all don't know if y'all just video too much to comment the like button button subscribe button all of them buttons because guess what I'm still sick we gone